Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about part two of the dark and creepy secrets of the GTA cover girls that you might not have known about. So first and foremost, thank you so much for the support on part one, where we dove into the cover girls from the earlier Grand Theft Auto games. Now we're going to start diving into some of the newer ones. And we're going to begin with the cover art girl for Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. So for Vice City Stories, the cover girl is Mystique. She's actually mentioned in the Vice City Inquirer, which is a manual for Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. She's a prostitute who lives in downtown Vice City. And in 1984, at the age of 18, she and Destiny won a Vice City Lotto scratch-off jackpot for $250,000. Now, she ended up splitting the money with Destiny, although by the end of the week, she had spent her half on spa visits, tube tops, a Walkman, and massive amounts of pharmaceuticals. And after two weeks, Mystique was forced to return to prostituting. She told her story in the Vice City Inquirer. So how about that? You win $250,000, you split it with your friend, you're getting $125,000, and in a week... You spend that on spa visits, clothes, a Walkman, and pharmaceuticals. Now, in the real world, you would lose about half of that right off the bat just on taxes alone. But still, that's a lot of money to spend on things that should not be terribly expensive. So, needless to say, she's pretty irresponsible when it comes to managing her money. So, that is Mystique, the cover girl from GTA Vice City Stories that you might not have known about. Then we move on to Grand Theft Auto 4. And the cover girl for Grand Theft Auto 4 is Lola Del Rio. So like Mystique, Lola is also a prostitute. And in 2007, her character art was painted on the side of a building in Soho, New York, advertising the game. And that is where she became incredibly popular. Now, she is also apparently in-game because her name can be found on the LCPD website. So this is what it says, Lola Del Rio. She's 22 years old. She was born in San Fierro. Her criminal records in 2003, prostitution in 2005, public lewdness, 2007, prostitution again, believed to have moved from Liberty City, from San Fierro to pursue a stage career, one of the first prostitutes to return to Star Junction after it was said to be a family zone, often seen sucking on a red lollipop. That is a really funny description right there. Now, Lola in many ways is similar to GTA 3's cover girl, Misty. They're both prostitutes that are featured in nearly every promotional artwork for the game. The only difference is that Misty actually appears in game, unlike Lola. Now, what's actually kind of interesting about Lola is on her right hand, she actually has six fingers. This is actually a error made by the artist who was drawing the promotional work. She's got six fingers. Like, just take a look at that. Uh, it looks a little bit strange, doesn't it, after you notice that. That's just something you will never be able to unsee. And apparently, this artwork is based off of former Rockstar Games artist Stephen Bliss's wife. So if he did design that, he used his wife for inspiration. Kind of interesting, I will say so myself, but that is Lola Del Rio, the GTA cover girl for Grand Theft Auto 4. And then we have Episodes from Liberty City. So Episodes from Liberty City is a combination of The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. For The Ballad of Gay Tony, there's no cover girl there. With The Lost and the Damned, you do have Ashley Butler, which we can cover her very quickly. I wouldn't really consider her a Grand Theft Auto cover girl, but she's featured in Grand Theft Auto 4. The Lost and the Damned is a minor character in Grand Theft Auto 5. She's also mentioned in GTA Online. She's essentially the girlfriend of Johnny Klebitz. And she's involved heavily in the biker gang, the Lost MC. So we won't dive into her too much just because she's more of a main character and less of a cover girl. But we can focus on another cover girl from episodes from Liberty City. And that is Joni. So Joni is the one featured on the episode from Liberty City box art. And she actually does appear in game. So Joni is a female security manager who works in Masonette 9 alongside 
Luis Lopez, and Desi. Now, Joni works with Luis as a part of the club management side missions, and Luis keeps in contact with her via headset while scanning the dance floor from the security room for trouble. And she tells Luis to check out certain areas where she sees disturbances. And occasionally, Joni will call Luis to her office and offer some favors, such as dances and other stuff like that. And she will sometimes scold Luis if the player gets involved with other women. And she definitely has some interesting comments, too. Like, she constantly teases him about the size of his you-know-what. Like, she'll say, you have a great body, L. Shame about the little guy. And also saying, do steroids make your balls shrink or were they always like that? And so you were overcompensating. So she says stuff like that, which is obviously very interesting. But that is Joni and she can actually be featured in the game. And you do actually interact with her in a handful of ways. And then that leads us to the Grand Theft Auto 5 cover girl. Arguably the most famous of the bunch, or I would say probably the most popular of the bunch. This is the woman in the red bikini holding up her iFruit phone doing the peace sign at Vespucci Beach that you guys have seen probably thousands of times by now on loading screens or on promotional artwork. A lot of people have been wondering who this is and can she actually be found in game? The answer is we don't know if she can be found in game. There are Plenty of examples of NPCs uh, on the beach in bathing suit wear like this. But there's not one particular NPC doing this exact pose. Now, many believe that this was supposed to be famous actress Lindsay Lohan or other pop culture celebrities that, you know, look like that and have done poses with that same sort of picture holding up the peace sign. But it was actually revealed that it was someone less known. Her name is Shelby Waylander. So Shelby Waylander was employed by Rockstar Games to pose for the cover shoot of GTA 5. She even released a photo of her paycheck from Rockstar Games proving that she was the cover girl on GTA 5. Take a look at this right here. You can see it is from Rockstar Broadband. It is for a video game. You can see the name of the talent there is Shelby Waylander. Now, obviously, we don't know how much she ended up getting. But if you guys look at Shelby, it's very similar to the actual girl in, featured in the artwork. So I guess that's who they based it off of. Uh, we don't actually see anything else about her in game on any websites or anything like that. Just know it's not someone like Kate Upton. It's not someone like Lindsay Lohan. It's Shelby Waylander. And we now know who that is because she officially showed us her paycheck. It doesn't get more realistic than that. So there you go. Those are the dark and creepy secrets of the Grand Theft Auto cover girls that you simply might not have known about. It gives us some backgrounds on their stories, if they can actually be found in game or whether they're just referenced in certain articles, newspapers, websites, Easter eggs, etc. Hopefully you found this video interesting like I did because every Grand Theft Auto game has a cover girl in some way, shape or form. And it kind of makes you wonder what they're going to do for GTA 6. That'll be interesting to see when the time comes. But I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Which Grand Theft Auto cover girl is your favorite that we talked about in this video today? Is it Lola from GTA 4? Is it our mystery red bikini girl from GTA 5? Let me know what you guys are thinking about in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well sometimes youtube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive but of course as always guys thank you all so much for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video